This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. everybody so today I have for you guys um, something special something normally I don't do often but I thought it was really cool and I was given the opportunity so I wanted to take uh, uh, take it while I had it um, our good friends um, over at bits and buttons Dominic um, had uh, Hornswoggle come in um, former WWE and impact superstar uh, now now with his own promotion uh, where he resides in uh, Wisconsin which is uh, ACW um, was in the store to do promotion, autograph signing, and everything like that, which was really cool. Um, so myself and our good buddy Scott went down there to go, uh, obviously meet and take pictures with him and everything. And then in the midst of all that, I was actually able to secure, um, a little bit of an interview with, um, Swaggle. Um, awesome guy, super cool. I will leave the links in the description below for the, uh, Instagram and the Twitter um, I think he has a Facebook too, so I'll leave the information below for all his stuff down there so you guys can go check him out and show him some support. But super nice guy. I'm glad I had the pleasure to speak with him. So without further ado, here's the footage from that interview. I hope you guys enjoy, and after that's over, I'll see you back here in a few. What's poppin' everybody? I am here right now in Bits and Buttons, and I'm here with a special guest right now, and this gentleman is so kind to take a few minutes just to talk to me. So I am here with uh, Dylan aka swoggle thanks man i appreciate you taking the time yes um so tell everybody about yourself you know if they don't know who you are already i mean uh, i know who you are obviously because I, I watch wrestling so <laughs> i uh, was under contract with wwe for two weeks under 10 years as horn swoggle now i'm all over the independence and uh loving life that's awesome, man. So I know from obviously following you and following the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, I know you are a little bit of a collector, and that's kind of what we do on my channel. We talk about yeah. like collecting and stuff like that. So what are some of your favorite things that you like to collect? I'm just finishing up my original WWF Hasbro collection, uh, Loose. I have to just do it on card next with uh, just Series 1. But this is uh, this store has everything. Yeah. It has absolutely everything. And I'm like... It's, it's, I'm just, every time I look around, it's something, something new that I find. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite local watering yeah. holes to, to, yeah. to come to. Is there anything that you collect other than, other than wrestling or is that strictly what you stick to? Uh, I finished my diamonds or my, uh, Palisades Muppets collection. I just finished that, the original series, a couple exclusives here and there, but I'm not going to go too crazy. Okay. Um, so obviously one of the, one of the main questions I wanted to ask and, yeah. and, and cause I think it's a really cool thing. What was the feeling like for you when you got your very first figure made of yourself so like action figures were what got me into wrestling in general I was playing with them as a kid my brother's toys and uh <clears throat> so getting my own was just incredible it was just uh that, that was that's the the biggest bucket list thing i could i could ever dream of so when it actually happened it was it was awesome now do you have like multiple of your first figures in your collections yeah, or? I, have, I have uh one loose of every figure i have and then i have two mint on card oh that's awesome that. that's so awesome yeah. so um you got anything lined up for like when your next uh, when your next matches are or anything like that uh, my company acw wisconsin you can find us on facebook at acw wisconsin or on twitter at acw wisconsin we have a huge event april 17th we actually just sold it out but you can get all details about our future events all over there and that's great. And guys, I will leave the links in the description below that Dylan just mentioned so we can make sure that you uh, you guys check all that stuff out, especially if you do watch me and you are in the Wisconsin area. So um, I don't want to take up any more time, but I do thank you for, for coming on thank and uh, pleasure talking to you. And uh, hopefully we'll run into each other again soon. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys, and we are back. So I'm glad I got to do that interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, it's not something that I do on a normal basis, but given the opportunity, it's something that I like to do. Um, I always like to speak to other people and, you know, talk to them about their hobbies. Not so much their day-to-day -day stuff, but just their hobbies, if they collect anything, stuff like that. Because, you know, in, in a roundabout way, we are all collectors in, in some capacity. So it's always cool to see what other people's hobbies and interests are. So while I was there, obviously I got to uh, take some pictures with him, um, which you guys saw in the hunt video, uh, which was really cool. Also, I did get this autographed eight by 10 of him that says to Seth, AKA what's poppin' Hornswoggle, which is really cool. And he also had this 
badass 8-bit retro style t-shirt that I had to pick up that he was selling. So this thing is super cool. Um, again, I love this shirt. This is awesome. I'll definitely be starting to wear this soon. Pretty, pretty soon too. And, uh, yeah guys, so I believe the next event over at Bits and Buttons is going to be Gan Grail. So if you guys are in the South Florida area, um, be sure to check out, um, Gan Grail. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below for Bits and Buttons Instagram so you can follow them. So when they make announcements and everything, and then May 2nd, which is a Sunday, Matt Cardona from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast will be there. I am definitely going to that one, and I am definitely headed to Gangrel. Um, I'm hoping that um, I have the opportunity to speak with um, both Gangrel and uh, Matt and being able to uh, interview them and bring you those interviews as well. Um, you know, I know I don't know if Gangrel's so much of a collector, but he just seems like a cool guy to talk to, especially, um, you know, since I'm a huge wrestling fan. And also, just to talk to Matt about collecting now. I did meet Matt um, a while back when we went to... Um, Galaxy's Edge when me and George were there for the Rise of the Resistance video um, and he was such a super cool dude So I'm hoping I get the opportunity to be able to interview him this time and uh, We'll go from there. So again guys, I will leave the links in the description below for all of Swaggle stuff I will leave the link in the description below for bits and buttons so you can check them out when they're doing more um, Signings like I said Gangrel's up next and then May 2nd is Matt Cardona So be sure to check that out and, uh, yeah, guys, so if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe, as always. Be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of me doing interviews gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. And always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer here at MCE. So until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.